sister alligators and snakes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they probably. Oh, you, you said, yeah. You said yeah, alligators. You know. What are you talking about, the Egyptians? Two third motherfuckers, yeah. they love, they fuck their sisters. That's what is it? Yeah, this so, let me tell you something. My mom tried to hook it up to the point that my, for my brother to rape my sisters. Oh, shit. Uh, my mom tried to hook that shit up. My sister was telling me. You know what I'm saying? My sister was telling wow. me, man. That's crazy. How's your uncle? What up, boy? Nephew. What up? What that, that camera? What's up, camera? That camera? Yeah, that's camera. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's camera. His, his brothers was posing the other day. Uh, so, uh, up in Westerville. One of them got second place. There's some competition type shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah this zoom ain't too. good either. That zoom's good. The stutters? I just tried to get the Al Rosa. It wasn't even. It was all good. Yeah. And it, what are you doing? I was zooming the hell out of it yesterday. What's up, man? But I had it on high quality, though. Don't worry about it, we're good. We need a, we need a stutter when you zoom? It's just blurry. <laughs> uh, it's that, funny. It's not on high quality. It's funny, and Chan we was on the job out going to Pennsylvania, and on the way to Pennsylvania, he had uh, met up with some bitch. <laughs> yeah. She had all kinds of holes. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? We all in shape and shit, so. That's how it is. That's how it is, man. You went out to Pennsylvania, it was just on some humbug. Came across some fish. Why not fucking that bitch? That's what I'm talking about. I was like, okay. I was I was I was kind of questioning. I thought he was a homosexual. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Pierre? He just looked like a Pierre or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bisexual, man. That's the reason why these infections are so widespread. Why, why these infections are so widespread? Because these bisexual motherfuckers are yep. these faggots, man. You got women out here with that wicked ass shit. Oh, with man, the curiosity of uh, fucking uh, a fag. A fag. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what this shit is. That's why we got this sign that says, can you get that on camera? It's all fucked up now, but yeah, you know that can you get that on camera? Bad yep. Now. Get on there. Yep. I mean, that's, just read that. And that was what from what four years ago? Yeah, 2012. Yeah, let me read this real quick. Up that this is now. a Titus two and five. To be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High not be blasphemy. I said discreet that these women don't have discretion. They, they're not obedient to their husband either. Or at least they don't leave their husband. They ain't got no husbands. They ain't got five different husbands. <laughs> yeah, like on that scripture when Dow was shy. It's like, woman, you got five husbands. Get the fuck and, out of here. This one you really yeah. ain't here. He ain't your husband. Right. I was watching a Jesus movie on YouTube. Uh, you know how you I was watching a, I think a GMS video, and then the autoplay was on and it went into a Jesus movie. <laughs> I started watching that Jesus movie. He all talk like an English poet. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but he he he, he, he showed in that movie, he told that bitch. He's like, you have five husbands or something. He cursed that bitch out. <laughs> We should get that script correct. I was watching one yesterday. I was watching like four movies. The movie was actually on point though. It was a black movie. Um, they was going through, the whole movie was about Joe. It was, Joe? It was kind of bad, yeah, Joe. Modern, that? it was a modern day, it was called, um, oh, really? um, From Hell and Back, From Hell and Back. And um, the Lord, the Most High was black. Uh, what? Satan was black. Joe was, everybody was black, man. And oh. actually, the movie was on point, but the, I was getting sick watching the movie because, you know, the Job was sounding just like these nigger preachers, you know. Uh, Always just quoting scriptures. No edification, no nothing, just quoting scriptures, man. Yeah. Like, damn. They'll never get the movies right. Never, man. Oh, man. You just give it up. Oh, man. You ain't going to find that good Bible movie. Nah, no, it's not. I was like, God, man, shut the fuck up. And it was on point, especially with his wife in the movie, man. Wicked as all hell, man. But he took the bitch back at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it didn't Joe get a new wives and new daughters? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the funny thing about the uh, Joe was that when Joe got all his uh, his wealth back at the end, you know, his daughters, he got daughters back, and he said his daughters was the hottest things around. Yeah, because the Most High killed all of his children. Right. And he got even more children. The hottest things around. Man, Joe was a... 
Job was a man of great faith. I, the best part when he tells his woman, pretty much so, and he shut the hell up. You know, like, he's like, what he, he said, that foolish, oh, that foolish woman. I'm about to get it. There we go, I got it right here. These women, they sell you out with the quickness. I'll go ahead and read it. This is uh, Job 2 and 9. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thy integrity? Curse God and die. Oh, yeah, because the most high was jacking Job up, right? Hitting him with these plagues. And his wife, she couldn't take it. She told him to just curse God and die. And this is what Job told his wife. This is what a great man of the Lord said to his wife. <laughs> Job 2 and 10, but he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of those foolish women speaketh. He said, You speak as a foolish woman. He won. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this did not Job sin with his lips. All right, so he said, Will we not receive both good and evil from the Lord? He didn't say the evil came from Satan, neither did he. You know, everybody want to give credit to all Satan. He's the one who causes the evil. Now, that's the most high causing that evil. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, can, you can't have good without the evil. It's a, it's a balance. Right. Because Satan's just an instrument for the most high to create evil. You know what I'm saying? Because you got all God. There's no evil in God. God's all love. Like, you know, women you said you were talking to. They say you yeah, Jesus and all love. That's all you can expect a woman to say, though. Don't expect to be a woman to be saying what we're saying. It just ain't gonna happen. Actually, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I have yet to see it myself. You might have some women who perpetrate and then pretend like they're righteous for a minute. Don't make a YouTube video. Or something, you know what I mean? But then they just fade away into oblivion. <laughs> they, they just disintegrate. <laughs> yeah, this bitch on the other day, uh, I was watching her video. She made like an hour video, man, uh, talking about prophecies and shit, trying to teach truth, but didn't use one scripture. <laughs> yeah, not one scripture. Yeah, and and one a woman's scripture. not supposed to be doing that anyway. Hey, she had a Bible and a apocrypha, though. <laughs> I mean, the Bible does speak of righteous women. You got some of them. I was just reading, uh, it's very rare, though. What's that girl's name? I was reading that in uh, Romans. You go to your homie. Oh, oh we've been seeing that guy for years. Damn, He's still holding on. <laughs> He's still holding on. The old OSU alumni down here just can't give it up. Maybe that was wrong. Hey, remember his old days down here. Right, yeah. Man, this is an old ass university, man. This shit goes back way what, back. What, 1800s? Yeah, hey, this is some old shit, man. Yeah, yeah Columbus is a very historical city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I was out, uh, out of I was out in London, Ohio on a job. I had to clean out the damn courthouse mm -hmm. out in London. Very yeah, good. Yeah. And that shit, I seen shit. They had fouls from 1888. My, my sister. Like, just like, yeah, that's, where, that's where you gotta go to do genealogies and shit. I'm like, just like Edom holding on to this shit. Like, right, he's right, gonna right, not right. one person to laugh from 1888. Yeah, but, I mean, you, that's how people track their genealogies and stuff. How you doing, The court records. Oh, yeah. Because that's where you get uh, marriage. Alrighty, so. Uh, marriage certificates and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, I was reading that shit. Oh, was it? Yeah. My sister's in London. Some, uh, London, too. Going out windows and hotels. Their wife back in 1870, so. Look at that big ass. <laughs> I got a scripture real quick. Check this out. This is to prove that we're not misogynists and we don't hate all women. We just hate most of them. Uh, Romans 16 and 1. I, com I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Centuria, that you receive her in the Lord as become a saint and that ye assist her in whatsoever business she had need of you for she has been a succor of many and of myself also. So she was helping the prophets out. Help, she was helping out the apostles. I don't see none of these women helping us out. Not one. 
Stop looking at me. Okay. You say you're looking at me, man. You gave me the creeps. Proverbs 11 to 22. As a jewel of gold in a swine snout, so is a woman. So is a fair woman, which is without discretion. Yeah, it's like you're trying to you trying to make a turn a swine, a filthy animal, into something beautiful. God damn, raggedy ass shit. Yeah, trying to make one of these hoes beautiful and righteous, and try to pretend like one of these hoes is righteous. That's the same thing as trying to make a pig clean by putting a, a gold ring in his nose or something. You know, what's the old saying? Polishing a turd, you can't polish a turd. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Noofy. <laughs> Just goofy. We go, we go Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah, I do like Brad Pitt. <laughs> well, hey, seven years, seven years in Columbus. <laughs> uh, World War Z, yeah. I was talking about seven years in Tibet. Uh, over there in Nepal, I hit with another earthquake. Y'all see that? Right. They got hit with another seven point something. Right. Nepal. You oh yeah, in Nepal. Yeah, yeah. Like you over, know, over. Seven thousand people killed in that. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> seven thousand? Even more. There's more than, than, than that. that. Why seven thousand? The number oh, seven. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, that yeah that's, that's crazy. Cool. I yeah. think now it's like over ten thousand now. Mm. Oh, like seven people died on that fucking train that just wrecked. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's. that's yep. Yeah, oh, this morning went up to eight. Oh, oh, one of the they eight. gotta be. They can't. They gotta leave that number seven alone, man. <laughs> they gotta leave it alone. They afraid of that number, man. Oh, I was reading on that train wreck. They, they said that people, when the wreck happened, nobody was helping each other. People was getting stomped on, running over <laughs> other people. Wow, that's, that's not what they were saying on CNN. It was like I was helping everyone I could get off. Oh, that's CNN. <laughs> I got the real man, like a motherfucker. I got. The, I was on Drudge Report reading the stories he posted. They said people were stomping on people, running over people. And these people are savages out here. It's every man for himself. Because you know, I mean, nobody, uh, they like they love to quote the Bible, but these people, they don't love their neighbor. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right, right. See, they, they, they always say uh, when some fucked up shit happens and you ask their opinion or whatever, they always say shit, it ain't me. Right, right, that ain't me. <laughs> shit, right, laws, it ain't me. Laws, it ain't me. <laughs> His facial recognition is going crazy on this camera. Y'all, that, that looks like Riff Raff's cousin. You know Riff Raff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a bug now, that's right, Your boy Riff Raff is crazy. You know about Riff Raff? That, that motherfucker, he's from Texas. Is he from Texas? Yeah. He got, he got an MTV, uh, BET, both tattooed on him. Pepsi tattoos. Pepsi Coke, tattoos. Cola tattoos. Yeah, he got white. He, got, he be having a blue and green. And he got the Taco Bell logo that, tattooed. Man, that fuck out. He's fucked out. I got whoever's making his beats though, man. His, he got me having a badass beats, man. <laughs> yeah, he hey, there goes Brian. Huh? Yeah, actually, <laughs> I heard of one song where he was actually kind yeah, of lyrical. Yeah, you know, he got some flows, but he talks about retarded shit. Yeah, oh, he's gone. Yeah, he's totally gone. Yeah, that, that boy is gone. <laughs> He's a <laughs> man. He's definitely a Jake. Yeah. What's up? I knew that when I first seen his ass. And uh, what the fuck was he in? He had some a reality TV show. Uh, uh, gentlemen, G's the gentleman. He's on TV. Yeah. Oh, he's that, big. That's like how. That's how he first. For real? I, I didn't uh, know he was big like that. You know that, that faggot motherfucker, Farnsworth Bentley. Oh yeah, he had his own TV show called G's to Gents. Damn, I didn't even know Riff Raff, Riff Raff was that popular. It was like some I Love New York type reality type show. Dude. <laughs> but you gotta look at Riff Raff when you get home, man. You, uh, you'll get a good laugh. Right here, yeah, you'll get a uh, good. Look it up. Yeah, you'll get a very good laugh. Yeah, that's a real entertainment right there. That tells you how gone these people are. Just look at Riff Raff. Because Riff Raff is not an isolated incident. Your dude Buckethead, where's the KFC Bucket? Oh, uh, but at least Buckethead's actually, he's a real musician. He does that to hide his identity. Who the hell is Buckethead? You don't know <laughs> Buck, he's the guitarist. He wears a Michaels Meyer mask with a KFC bucket on his head. No, oh, shit. Nobody knows who it is. But he's bad as fuck on the guitar. 
Oh, he just plays, yeah, he just gets on stage and does nothing but instrumentals. Hey, I, he was with Guns N' Roses for a minute, with Axl Rose. Dude is nasty. You say Riff Raff. Yeah, Riff Raff. All you gotta do is see a picture of him. That's all you need to know. There's a thoroughbred right there. Oh, this is a thoroughbred for your ass. It's probably an athlete. Yeah. Sure. All right, let me find him. Hey, well, that's a Jeremiah. Therefore, fulfilling Jeremiah 4 and 22. You see that shit? <laughs> you gotta you gotta go watch the videos, bro. It was on YouTube? Yeah. He got all kind of videos. Riff Raff and what's the other one? I don't know the other dude. Buckethead? Buckethead. Oh uh, but well you'll like Buckethead's music at least. He's, he's a guitarist. Cause you like instrumentals, so you'll love that shit. Okay. I'm gonna read a scripture. This scripture is for people like Riff Raff. Let me write this out in a minute either. I used to bring this out every day. Jeremiah 4 and 22. All right, Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sodas children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. Okay, because these people is foolish, man. All, people are just into a bunch of foolish ass shit. They just into the, just mental retardation. Okay, people are mentally retarded. We surrounded by fucking retards. People just into the dumbest shit imaginable. Like your boy Riff Raff, he got BET tattoo and MTV tattoo. I know, I know he got the MTV. He got the MTV Music Award tattooed on him. I think he got the MTV chain and shit too. Dude, it's just gone. I mean, it's bugged yeah, out, man. Totally. You know, the other dude you mentioned, uh, what's his, the Bentley Farns, what's his Bentley Farns work, yeah, that faggot. He's a big faggot. All these famous people are fucking weird. Though. popular rappers now so it's just, I don't pay attention. I don't know. Two chains. Two chains. Yeah, <laughs> Two what kind chains. of name is that? Two chains. I don't even listen to the radio. I don't even fuck with none of Lil them. Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne's still popular. I can't believe you've got actually people to actually go to Lil Wayne concerts. I mean he's actually still popular. Young Thug Luger. Oh yeah, that faggot. Who's Young Thug? I don't know Young Thug. He a straight faggot. He wore dresses, get his nails done. <laughs> he, he gets his nails done. <laughs> what the? That's what's popular. Cause I back when we was growing up, rap music was all about who had the best lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Who who could had the best vocabulary? Mm -hmm. That was yeah, East that Coast, West too. Coast. Well, East West Coast. Coast yeah. Well, East Coast. Yeah, West Coast was gangster. The East Coast was like intellectual. Yeah. I don't know. Jurassic Fire, they were West Coast and they had some intellectual well, that, that's shit. That's not even rap, though. I mean, that's rap, but that's like something else. They did their own thing. I yeah, was listening most... to them yesterday. They was like, we came not to destroy, but to fulfill the law. I was like, what the... <laughs> that's what they said. Yeah. Yeah, they seem, yeah. They a little different. Cause they, had more, they had more of a white audience, though, you know, really. But, uh,. Yeah, because back in the day, people used to boast about how good their raps was and how much wisdom and knowledge they dropped in a rap. Yeah, yeah. But nowadays, the raps is all about who can be the most degenerate, who can talk the most retarded, and rap the most retarded. Your boy Lil Ray was so retarded, he rapped the alphabet, the ABCs. <laughs> you heard that shit? No. You don't want to hear it. That's one of their most popular songs. Oh, Dave was listening to that shit all the time. Yeah, he, he <laughs> loved God. Lil Wayne. We used, to, we used to get in arguments over it. I'd be like, turn we that shit off. We have every Lil Wayne mixtape of the day it came out. Along with, uh, what was his name? Lil Jeezy or Young Jeezy? Young Jeezy and Wheezy and yeah, Sneezy. <laughs> Sound like the <laughs> goddamn... <laughs> Seven Dwarfs. <Yeah. laughs> they, got, they got a song with, uh, with uh, Drake and Lil Wayne talking about fucking... 
Yeah, they both talking about fucking her? Yeah, same song. Same, yeah, he said they got a song about, who you say, Lil Wayne and Drake? And Drake's a big faggot, too. Uh, and they had a song talking about both of them was going to fuck Nicki Minaj. And Nicki Minaj, her name means uh, Minaj a Trois. Yep. Minaj a Trois means three. So that means she, that's her name means fucking they're three people fucking at the same time. Uh, there's another uh, wicked ass abominable fucking thing they're rapping about now. The shit they call truffle butter. Truffle butter? What's some yeah. ass butter? Yeah. About how you, when you <laughs> fuck a uh, bitch in the ass or whatever. <laughs> and that brown glaze shit. Be, <laughs> they, they're sponsoring that shit. Like. So that's what's hot, man. I, 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 I had to uh, find out, like, what the fuck, what they talking about truffle butter? And I knew it wasn't nothing good. So I'm like, let me look no, this shit up. No, I already know it has something to do with the ass when they say truffle. And it's in a dictionary now. Oh, it's an urban, dic urban dictionary? Whatever dictionary they got updated is in there. Truffle butter. Truffle butter. These hoes got a lot of truffle butter for your ass. No, you, don't want none, you don't want none it's of them truffles. Nasty, man. You know what I'm saying? And in truffle, to find truffles, don't they use pigs? And to find real truffles? <laughs> That's a metaphor. Oh, go ahead, bring it out. Isaiah, Isaiah 16:2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. It grows darkness, the people. Yeah, so these people are covered in gross darkness. They're right, right. We out here, we're, uh, we're covered in light. You know what I'm saying? We out here speaking light. We're the children of light. We out here with a big ass lamp post. We like that lighthouse. We know when you got a sip and she see. Let's try to say that five times. A ship at sea. You know what I'm saying? It's all dark out there. When they see that lighthouse, they know all oh, there's refuge. That's safety right there. So we are a lighthouse. You know what I'm saying? A beacon of a beacon of hope. Yeah, but these fools are in the darkness, man. They got no light. Go ahead. But Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be upon thee. Right. Right, that's exactly. Cause it, these fools out here, they are complete and utter darkness. What's that scripture? They love darkness rather than light. I got scripture. Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, says the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Yeah, because right, that's why we're fishers of men. The, 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 the Lord, when the Lord found, uh, who was that that was fishing? Was uh, Peter fishing? Peter and his brother, I think. You know that scripture, he said, put your nets down and follow me. Yep. I'll make you fishers of men. Pretty much stop everything you're doing he, right now. Yeah, that was working at that job. He said, put those nets down and follow me. He said the same thing to the one uh, apostle when his father died. Let the dead bury the yeah, dead. Yeah, let the dead. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's what I, I just read that yesterday. I'd be forgetting what scriptures are that, man. No one right. I know where it's at. Okay, bring it out. Is that one when they were working? You tell them to drop the nets. Whatever you got, just bring it out. What was you looking at? Some brick rag? Oh, no. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's some degenerate shit though, man. I don't even, I didn't listen to that popular music no more. It's all degeneracy. I got a scripture if you know uh if you got that. Matthew 4 and 18. And Yahushua walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brethren. Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother. Yeah, I knew it was Simon and his brother. Right? Keep going. Casting a net into the sea for they were fishers. And he said for to them. Because they was out there working. They was at work. So this was this was for the people out there who try to make fun of a brother because he don't have a job. Or they'll say, uh, people will try to tell you having a job is more important doing the work of the Lord. Because you know, people make fun. They're called bummer lights. 
say, you know, say we look like we homeless. Blah, blah, read that. And he said, for to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. He said, follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. And that's what we out here doing. We, we, we out here fishing. Keep going. And they straightway lift their nets and follow him. And they straight, right, they left their nets and then they followed the Lord. They just stopped working, you know what I'm saying? And then they went to teach this gospel because that was more important. Because because this doing this work, we're not saying you can't have a job. I mean, you can go have a job, you gotta, you gotta survive. But doing this work is a top priority. This becomes before your job, it comes before your children, it comes before your raggedy ass wife, okay? It comes before everything. A lot of people can't get that. You know, a lot of people always want to put their wife before everything. But this is your real wife is right here. Because we're, we're married to the Lord, okay? You got a precept? Why are you getting that? Let me read this. I got a precept. Or he read a, a scripture later that said, uh, earlier, it said people was in uh, gross darkness. These fools out here are covered in gross darkness. I got a precept for that. John 3 and 18. And he, and he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that, the, that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. <laughs> yeah, because fools, they people love darkness rather than light. Don't y'all know people love darkness rather than light? Yes, I do. We live in a dark, evil world. Have you met the human species? Yeah, they, they're savages. Well, I yes. wouldn't say species, but yeah. I don't believe so in... So, what is your religion then? We don't have a religion. Reli religion is mind control. It is it's a form of propaganda to trick people into doing a certain thing because that person said they should. Right. And what do you guys believe? You believe in a Bible. And the Bible is not a religious book, contrary to popular belief. But the Bible is a book of laws, statutes, commandments, and prophecies it's, to the nation it's of It's more of a moral compass than religion, honestly. Right, well, people don't have no moral compass. Okay, their compass is just going crazy, going in an all direction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is y'all got all kind of interference on that compass. <laughs> <laughs> this is going haywire. There, there ain't no morality out here, man. You know, America's the kingdom of Satan. That's why we're all slaves out here. That's why I don't follow the system. Hey, right? Yeah, fuck the system. <laughs> That's what we out here uh, protesting against the system. See, my only problem is that this thing here. That's the devil. What was wrong with it? That's the devil. Yeah, that makes it the devil. I was like, you guys say you the Bible. No, it says Jesus is a Negro, not a white man. I know. Okay, how could he have been white? Okay, first off, I'm just saying. I'm not actually. This is Middle Eastern. Which white not white? Bethlehem. Jesus could not have been white. It wasn't this way possible. History, well, you should know that he's of color. Well, well, it specifically do? said, hair of black, you call her. They want to black, black hair of black. They got proof of black. We believe in the Bible. Well, listen to the scripture. Revelation 1 14. <laughs> his head and his hair were like, like wool. They said his hair was white like wool. Skin of olive and hair of wool. Yeah, but who has woolly hair? Not white do, people. Do Arabs have woolly hair? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they should know Arab with no woolly hair. The mixture of race You've been to Arabia? generation has changed the Arab color and hairstyle and hair formats. <laughs> everything, the protons of everything has changed throughout the history of mankind. What we look like now is not the way we get to look. So what did original man look like? Is he a Honestly, in my opinion, like an albino person. Let's continue. Because of all cool. the fucked up shit this world has done to us, Every little fucking sin, every fucking 13 13. everything out there. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. What color is brass? Red. Brass? Brass. Brass. 
Hey, I'll, I'll show, I'm gonna show you the origin of where uh, so-called uh, white skin comes from, all right? You know what, look, check me out, I'm covering in freckles. You know what freckles are? It's a melanin, okay? It's, and they're hereditary. Oh my God. Because originally all people with dark skin, okay? No, you probably a nigga, don't know. Actually, I do. You guys forgot the uh, stock market yeah. crash of 2008. You ain't nothing but a leprosy black man. That's, that's, that's financial terrorism. Leprosy black man. That's it's all still terrorism. Yeah, that's You're right. Every, every single bit of this yeah. is fabricated to keep you distracted yeah. from their higher goal of stripping away your civil liberties. And who owns all those banks? The government. But actually, the national treasury, which is not part the of the American government. But who owns? The government don't know the treasury. The, the so-called Jews own all the banks. Oh, here you go. Check this out. Read that. Uh, skip that. That's not you familiar with the Goldman Sachs? Yeah, who is Goldman Sachs? They're the so-called Jews, the Brent. synagogue of Satan. Hey, get Revelation 2 and 9. Get over here holding the camera. I These are the controllers of the earth what? right here. These devils. So they, they, they pretend to be Israel, but we're the true Israelites, not these devils right here. Get Revelation. We'll prove it with the Bible. Revelation 2 and 9. Y'all probably grew up thinking y'all was part of these people, the same nation, these people, but unfortunately, unfortunately, because that's how most people look at when they hear the truth, okay, they find out who they are. This, shit, this is who you're really to, part you of. Meet my father. This is who you're really part of right here. This is it. Yep. <laughs> you ain't part of the, you ain't a nation of these goddamn red devils right here. You know? And a lot of times these Jews too, they'll try to pretend like they're one of us. Where's the Germans? Germans? Well, Germans is what's the German, What's German mean? Yeah, What's German mean? Like What's Jew mean? Yeah. What's Jew? Arab mean? Yeah. Whoa, German is talking about the Jew species. Jew German, ain't nothing but a It's just short for Judah. That's what Jew is. Short for Judah. Anyways, you so are you you guys learn the different words. Jew, Jew like is Judah. Is the German is the original man. What I'm saying is, if you look at the sign, the truth really is. Read there for it. Yeah. Who judged you? Uh, but look, Israel scattered among all nations, all right? Hey, get down. Hey, read this group. I'm going, man. We're going. Don't yeah. leave. On our way. This is good conversation, good edification. That's all good. I got to follow my husband. Can't handle the truth. Too much truth. He said, because that was racist. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's a nice one to compliment. Come on, come on. That's all right. I ain't worried about them. He said Jew and Judah is two different words. This was stupid as fuck. The only reason he, uh... Hey, just because we get on these niggas a lot, these motherfucking red-ass Israelites, they, they don't, they worse. They worse, right. Because they, they they'll never listen. Right. Because they get offended so easy. Anytime you talk about anything doing with black-skinned people, they get offended. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Straight up Jakes, man. Straight they up got Jakes. A, did you have light-skinned oh, yeah. Jakes got a severe hatred for dark-skinned Jakes. Yeah. Even like the Mexicans ha hate black people. You know, you got Mexicans over there in uh, California. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they be shooting black, so-called black people up. Yep. They be shooting them. And, and dead ice. Mexicans don't yep. like that, neither. They don't like nobody. They hit Mexicans don't like nobody. <laughs> they, they, they got a nerve oh, yeah. them in Canada. They try to say that they the La Raza. You know what I'm saying? They the chosen people. But they are, you know what I mean? But we ain't worried about these fools. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, she was hot. Yeah, we was trying to talk to those fools, but they was listening for a second until the dude with that, the hand my earrings, he, right. fu he fucked it all up, bro. Yeah, that shit crazy. He was probably their leader. He was their spiritual advisor. The wicked yeah. flee right. where no man pursues. Right. He was their spiritual leader, so if he got out of there, the rest of them followed. Now, only a goddamn... The main show getter. You know? <laughs> These motherfuckers don't even know their goddamn history. You're going to have the nerve to say Egyptians wasn't black. Fucking dumbass. If you knew any goddamn thing, uh, that fucking thing, that little wicked ass fucker Nimrod had my ass and all that Middle East and parts of East yeah. Africa. So, how, yeah, so. Yeah, you got Ethiopia right there too. So if, if you got black people in Ethiopia, means a, a burnt face, literally. 
Mm. That literally means burnt face. So yeah, Ethiopia is it's just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Israel. So how you gonna tell me they can't be dark skinned people in Israel as well? That don't make no sense. No damn sense. He said all of We ain't talking about the Mediterranean Sea, no even, even if they was our skin, they, a lot of them was Israelites. Yeah. You know what I mean? Paul, and, where did Mary and Joseph go when they flee Jerusalem? Yeah. They uh, how would they fit in? Well, they actually too at the same time. During their time, the Roman Empire controlled Egypt. So Egypt was multicultural by that time. Yeah, later on. Yeah. yeah. Well, during the time of Mary and Joseph, it was already under the control of. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you know shit, it would have been like that yeah, since yeah. Alexander. Since Alexander, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Cause for, yeah, the Ptolemies ruled for 300 years yeah, yeah. until the, the did they got defeated in the war between uh, Rome and. Uh, the Macedonians, mm -hmm. the Ptolemies. That's when Cleopatra committed suicide and all that shit. Yeah, cause she had descended from a Ptolemy. Yeah, she was a Ptolemy, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, I mean, you still had a lot of dark skinned people living over here. I'm just, yeah. You got some people so stupid, they'll, they'll say, we got proof that Egyptians were white people it's cause the Ptolemies were white. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. And that's fucking, that's like, that's not, that's new. Like, they settled up in there late. 300 some BC. But you know, Esau did have a, a long history with the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. The book of, uh, was it, First Kings? Was it First Kings? You got some of it. And it tells you how Hadad, the king of Edom, when he lived in Egypt and married the pharaoh's sister, I believe. Was he married to pharaoh's sister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, so he, the, the Edomite kings was married in to the uh, the, the pharaonic dynasties. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to, he's spiritually, he was trying to get that color. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because Esau loves Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Because Egypt, because Egypt is one of the most ancient of all the uh, of all the heathen nations. And e Esau is always following that path of spiritual wickedness. So there's nothing more spiritually wicked than the ancient Egyptians. They were the top sorcerers, wizards, yep. magicians. They got all that shit from Nimrod. Yep, but yeah, that goes back to Nimrod before that. You know they was doing the left hand side because when Moses threw his staff down, well, we, we, they we, both we, had staff. They go right, right. Dealing with their witchcraft. Yep, but they was dealing with the left hand side. There goes Brian. Remember him, Emily's brother. Oh yeah, wasn't he an artist? Yeah. He works at the art museum. A comic book artist. He probably does uh, cubism and shit now. Yeah, she just is smiling. You see him? Yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is smiling. Oh, oh. world. Darkness. 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 Where's your bullhorn at? Darkness. G hey, Jesus loves you. Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you. you. Jesus loves you. <laughs> oh. Shit. What are y'all up to today? <laughs> the Keebler Elves. That was, man. That was Snack, snack. Crackle and Pop. That was creative. <laughs> snack Crackle and Pop. He looked, like, he looked back like he's about to steal on you. Shit, please. I ain't never worried about that with nobody. That's the last thing you ever come across. Johnny. That's Hey, that's what that's what I'm saying, man. That's why I love this truth, man. I be seeing motherfuckers protesting with signs, get yeah. beat the fuck up, get rocks thrown out of this shit. Oh, it's a classic video on YouTube. <laughs> they be getting fucked up. Some motherfuckers had some signs and shit. <laughs> no truth, but the fact it was when they had a fag rally. Oh, the fags beat them up. Yeah, the fags beat them up. They got beat up by fags. Women too was beating them down. That's because they wasn't coming out with the truth. <laughs> they yeah, was exactly. That was a classic video too. I wonder if it's still up. They could have been secretly fags themselves. Yeah, because that happened around the time when um, Wall Street was on the... Um, yeah, yeah, that's What you call it. that? Oh, I can't remember Occupy what you call it. Occupy, Occupy Wall Street. yeah, that's around that time when that happened. Uh, that was a classic video. I was watching another video, too, to uh, look like two redneck preachers, or one of two uh, good old boys, <laughs> was out there. There was some county fair or something teaching the two Bible. And uh, there was a whole, like, a thousands of Muslims there. And they started cursing them out. Wow. They was using a, the Muslims just started stoning them. Oh, yeah. wow. Where they was picking up anything they could, just throwing it at them. Berserk on them. That's some bad shit. You know, you know, Muslims, man, they don't ever say shit to us, do they? 
They know nope. better. They know better. I remember Paul said he was going <laughs> You don't remember that shit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the dude driving the by. Yeah. <laughs> Cut your fucking yeah, head exactly. off. Cut your head off. <laughs> <laughs> they do get violent when it comes to They do get violent. But they're not going to fuck with us. Why? The Muslims know about us out here teaching. And all the other brothers teaching in the same spirit as they us. They sure do. You, you can't miss us. I don't even see Muslims. I watch a lot of clips, man. I see none of them. Even to the brothers across the world. I, I very seldom see them come up and ask questions. You can't, they can't deal with the truth. Cause they got, never. I've never met a, a, a Muslim that had any kind of deep knowledge. Well, some of those Moorish nation got a little, a little tiny bit of knowledge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. That shit only goes so far. Because I think the Moors and the five percent is the same shit. The only thing they go into. Yeah, that's is, what uh, I think. The only thing they into is law. They know about the law and the a little, courts. A little bit of dietary law. Dietary, and that's about it. They, they might know. The dietary they they might know some mathematics or some mm -hmm. sacred geometry. I mean, one of they they lost man. They're they're lost lost souls. Cause you talking about you a moor, you a foolish man. And they walk around with those fezes. And we already talked about that fez. That fez come from the town where that girl knew about fez. That we was talking to last week. The fez hat go back to the to the moors invading Morocco and killing all the Christians in the town of Fez, then they dip their hats in the blood of the Israelites. Oh, so I can't remember what radio station they're doing it now. They've been doing it for like the last month. Where in Fez? They, they mentioned that. They mentioned that, that slaughter. Oh, There's did they? They've been doing it for like the skateboard. last month. I can't remember which radio station. It's either... Um, That's good they're doing that, actually. Uh, People getting educated. 104... Three, Was it a talk station or music? 103.9. It's a music station. Oh, it's yeah. just one of the commercials. Okay. They go through that. It's bad. They've been doing it for like the last month. What kind of music they play? Like uh, that shit I've been listening to. The eight I was trying to look for one of those stations. A mixture of that, you know. The right Columbus radio is horrible. Yes, yeah, it used to be the shit. They fucked it used to be the up. shit, but now it's terrible, man. It's terrible. Oh, I was talking about radio. I was listening to NPR. I was riding with my mom. We was listening to the NPR radio station. That comes straight out of OSU. Oh yeah. And there was there was a photographer on there, and she was talking about how she was taking pictures of her naked children <laughs> and, and publishing them. Oh wow. And they was talking about how beautiful it was, and that not just babies too, but just you know all ages of children and how they. That's and that, That's pedophilia. And they was talking about how artistic and beautiful it was, mm. and she said, and I have this one picture, and she's caressing her nipple and oh my God. talking Damn. about children. On NPR, Ooh. that's that that uh, that liberal shit, man. Mm. That that Democrat liberal crazy shit. Mm. It's wicked as hell. What do you have in the scripture? I was I was bugging out, man. It's John fourteen and seventeen. Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not. Oh yeah, because the Spirit of Truth that the world cannot receive. I'm about to get that John in eighteen. John 18. Oh, yeah, the world. All right, let me finish this real quick. Because the world cannot receive the spirit of truth because, look, we're not of the world. Like John 2 and 15 says, says, love not the world, neither the things that are in it. You know what I'm saying? So so this world, these people, this part of this world, they can't receive this truth. Keep going. Because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. And these people don't know the Lord. Keep going. But ye know him. But we know him. Keep going. For he dwelleth with you. He dwelleth with us right now. That's why we are here teaching. Boom. The, the scriptures say, wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, I'm there in the midst of them. Hmm. So the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, right here. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. And shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while. And the world seeth me no more, but ye see me. Because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them. Keep the Lord's commandments. Don't steal, don't kill, don't be a faggot, don't commit adultery, don't eat swine's flesh. Keep going. And keepeth them. He 
it is that loveth me. It should, so America is not a God loving, God fearing nation. They don't keep the commandments. They sure don't. Your boy that came up here with those, those hand my earrings, that ain't keeping the commandments. <laughs> Just, you know, all these people walk around covered in tattoos. Women got tattoos on their titties, on their butt cheeks, <laughs> all up and down their arms. They got tattoo bracelets. I want to favor the tramp stamp. The tramp stamp. Oh, tramp yeah. stamp. And they, and they know that's what it is. A tramp stamp. They call it a tramp stamp. And the scriptures say you're not supposed to have any tattoos. They proud of it too, man. They proud yeah, they sure of it. is, man. They, they, they look at it as, as art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> not art. art. And these niggas back it up too, like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. sweet, baby. That's, that's nice, baby. That shit look good. That's just expensive you know? too. I've seen know, a bitch it, posted on Facebook she needed a new tattoo so she did one of those GoFundMe things for yeah, a new they got funded. Oh, wow. she got funded in a day oh. what I know a dude that I work with right now that set up a GoFundMe so he could get a car to get to work and he didn't get shit <laughs> oh damn <laughs> That, and you mean a, tell me this bitch go on there and get it one? That's right. That's she got like two hundred dollars in one day. That's how the world works. What what the that? Every one of them dudes thought they was gonna get the fucker too. Yup, I bet. You know what I mean? Yup. Each and every fucking one. Of them. Now this world's backwards as hell. We live in upside down land. Backward. We live in a backwards uh, dimension. What we used to call it? Bizarre. This is a bizarre world. <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> bizarre world. Well, like, yeah, this is like the fifth dimension with Mr. Mental Clicks and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it is. Just, it is. This shit's all fucking, it's all upside down. Yeah, and John saw this shit in the vision and threw the fuck up. Yep. <laughs> shit. Got, the prophets got sick and they, oh, I ain't going there. <laughs> no, I'm gonna like, nah, buddy, you gotta get punished. Yeah, you going there. Right? You going <laughs> You know? Oh, shit. That's why David said, if I if I forget Jerusalem above my chief joy, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. Mm. Go ahead. You got a scripture you want to bring out? You finna look at it. Yeah. Okay, this is Jeremiah 2, and I'm gonna start at 8. Um, the priest said not, where is the Lord? And they that handled the law knew me not. Oh shit! You see the priests and the, the priests and pastors—they don't care about the Bible. You seen that picture I sent you, right? Oh, I seen this picture. I got it on my phone. I'll show it to you. Ooh, I, I was, was right in front of the Scientology building. I sent it to you because I do work with my mom at his church, and I was up in one of their meeting rooms where they had meetings, <laughs> and they had a big billboard up where they was writing. Uh, they, they was having a meeting on transgenders and they was fighting for transgenders' rights. Uh -huh. And, and they, was, they was had something on it. It yeah, said, uh... It was a secret bulletin board. I wasn't see. It was right out in the open. Oh, damn. They had a meeting on uh, how they gonna protect transgender rights in the church. It's madness. And, and I heard they, got, they just got rid of a gay preacher in there. Their last preacher was gay. Now the current preacher's a woman. Oh, my God. It was bad. <laughs> they <cut enough. laughs> but actually, I think they actually, a lot of people, they said they lost members because a lot of people went, was not down with the gay preacher. <laughs> Who the fuck should be? You know what I'm saying? Well, I would say so. <laughs> that, that goes to show you that uh, that love everybody's bullshit. Cause, yeah, even they can you know say they accept fags, but... Deep down, they like... Uh, nah, this, nah, this ain't fucking right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> that, that's a problem because a lot of these people they might have good intentions because they've been so brainwashed that they think oh we have to give everybody rights and respect everybody just because they're a caring person but they've just been brainwashed and manipulated by all these movies on TV mm -hmm. by all this music all these celebrities drive by scoffers So if you're one of the people that you say that you don't have a problem with faggots, uh, you need to come out of your deep trance before the yeah. Lord smacks the shit out of you. Uh, don't dark over there. There's a famous saying, I have no problem with homosexuals as, uh, just as long as uh, they don't do it around me. Well, they are doing it around you. They got homosexual flags flying downtown. You see that? They're all over downtown. They're on every goddamn pole. They are. They are. They're going to bother you. See, dude, just driving by. That he was man. bumping some Beyonce, and he cut it off, so we won't get him on camera, or bust. Yeah, yeah, he cut, he cut that shit off. 
And as soon as he got past that light, he started to back up. Grown ass man bumping Beyonce. Yeah, he was a faggot. Oh, I never listened to that shit. That bitch can't sing with shit. She can't write it. Then they say on her record she had like 12 different writers writing for her. So, yeah, yeah, that bitch ain't well, she gifted. Got the money to that bitch ain't gifted at all. No talent at all. Not to be a hoe. That's her talent. Yeah, that's exactly what she is. Well, it's hell, hell I can't. Do well, hell, even, even your boy Elvis had writers too. <laughs> yeah, but they used Beyonce to, to push that. That that horse woman that just yeah that harlot shit that harlot and Rihanna well she, she's uh she worships Satan she says she was possessed by a demon named Sasha Fierce yeah 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 and then she wears that Egyptian shit that she had on you see she was uh, had a picture of her standing in front of the motorcycle that was shaped like yep. a ball for me yeah I'm gonna okay. be paying homage yeah oh yeah this shit well, I'm sorry this she's married to Jay Z. The guy who uh, wears those dudes out wilt shirts, mm -hmm. the uh, uh, Alistair Crowley disciples. Yeah, <laughs> Satan's got nothing to do with it. What a combination, right? Yeah, Satan's like, they're probably not even really married. That's all for the show. Right. They're right. actors. Mm -hmm. Jay Z's a big faggot. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Go ahead. Um, the priest said, not where is, where is the Lord? Thank you. The law knew me not. They that handled the law knew me not. That's talking about the priests. Okay. So the main one. Man, it's so noisy out here. The same ones that. The same ones that proclaiming that they the men of the Lord. They the ones that's farthest away from the Lord. Like all these preachers out here. Like your boy, uh, Creflo Dollar. One of the top preachers. <laughs> he he getting funds up so to buy his jet. I bet he, he got, got it. it already. Did yeah, he get he it? Get it yeah. <laughs> and these fools actually get like he, he said. It. They'll give him money. He's already rich. His last name's Dollar. Dollar. Okay, so you know he's all about the dollars. Dollar. He's already rich, and these fools are giving him more money. And like this brother said, you had somebody trying to get a car so he get to work. He probably got two dollars. He probably didn't get. <laughs> he, yeah, he got nothing. He got probably nothing. Children to feed. Yeah, yeah, no. Nobody's gonna help somebody out who really needs help in this country. That's a curse for your ass. This is just a wicked, disgusting, abominable nation. Creflo Dollar. That sounds like a damn rapper's name. It, it does, don't Creflo it? Creflo Dollar. <laughs> he sounds like a, he's a rapper. He could come out with an album <laughs> just like this on the cover. You know, Creflo Dollar. <laughs> with the, uh, <laughs> with the S dot, the got, dollar sign. He got that dot with gold platinum and shiny and shit. With a mansion behind him. You know what I'm saying? With, like with a, his deck. Like a Master P album. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you remember that Master P album? Yeah. Yeah, that's a detail like a buff. He probably right? blow the fuck up, man. He probably won't just blow up. I just gave him an idea. I just gave him an idea. Those people are fools. It probably stupid. crossed his mind already. He probably did. Oh, it's coming, probably. It's right Creflo there. Yeah, it's probably coming. Creflo it. Dollars mixtape. No, <laughs> he gonna be on some down south shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's it. When I very first heard that name, I was like, I know. Is I he know. a rapper? He's like, no, that's a preacher. I was like, what? Creflo Dollar. And this is before I even knew the truth. And I was like, oh, Rick, really? man. <laughs> he gonna drop it. Like, he he gonna drop the R too. It's just gonna be Dollar. You know what I'm saying? Dollar. <laughs> D O L L A. <laughs> Creflo Dollar. Oh my. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, I heard. I was reading something on the newspaper, and the new army on the internet. They said Chinese are now the, the, the top immigrants now. What? More Chinese immigrants are coming to this country than anybody else. Yeah. Ch they said Chinese immigrants are the, the number one immigrants. I thought it was Muslims. But well, that's the But when you come up here, you see it. They, they got plenty more China than where that came from. They're buying up all that land from Maine on down all the East. That's they, that's they plan on taking this country over. Yeah, there was a video game called uh, Homefront yeah, where uh, yeah. they uh, had the uh, dude from North Korea was his name that that uh, son took over. Uh, ooh, 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 now, yeah, now it's Johnny Hill. That, that. Well, in the game, he died in the game. Oh, yeah? And this was before he actually died. Oh, yeah. Now, 
how America at home front got took over by Moab and shit. Kim John Hill was a superstar. Fuck yeah. you. He's a very talented man. He don't fuck yeah. with America neither. Hard. I was watching some shit on him the other day. He was like, if you coming from over here, you ain't allowed to use these stores. You can't you can't do shit. Man, if you go over there, if you you see what it's he can't, he can't, he can't, he can't go in there and buy nothing, he can't go in there, you know, restaurant. Everyone, everyone's, they got all the shit. You know, they, ain't, they don't need to. You know, if you get caught with a Bible over there, they will lock your ass up for life in a concentration camp? Ooh, yeah, dude went into a bar and left his Bible up in the bar. They fucking sentenced him forever, but somehow they got him out. Where I was telling wow. you about those, uh, uh, those Koreans, I was, those Koreans I linked up with that one day. Right, right. They, they said they got family in the north. And they said they got like a secret underground church up here. Mm. Oh wow! And, and these motherfuckers. I ain't going there, motherfucker. Oh, I ain't. <laughs> ain't no reason but they can't get out though. They can't right, get out. Right. They trapped. Wow. They, they trapped they, in they, North they, Korea. But they said it's really crazy up there like that. North Korea. Yeah, they say it really is crazy. Yeah, they say they will really kill your ass if you catch you with a bike. And they living up in the Damn. camper. But that's that communism. That's they had like 50 like people Saudi up Arabia on that camper. Yeah. Too. Yeah, Saudi, they'll chop your fucking head off. Afghanistan. All the Muslims will kill you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, you, plant, if you go over that, uh, somebody just got put to death. Was it in Saudi, uh, or Iran for blasphemy Allah? Oh. Um, but they do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't nothing new. Yeah. Yeah. If you blast me out loud, you get put to death. Yep. North Korea just publicly executed like their uh, some top, uh, top general. Too. Yeah. A top dude too. Yep. Hey, he, he been doing that. I'm thinking it was it's Saudi Arabia that's about to do a public killing of some Probably somebody so. some oh, public that's... official dude that's uh, he was an op he's an opposition. Oh, for real? Yeah. They're about to broadcast him. Yeah, I was just reading that. And the Saudi Arabia, if you get caught still in the Saudi Arabia, they'll chop your hands off. That's crazy. You know that, and that's one of America's top allies. The most savage of them all. And that's where Al Qaeda comes from. Al Qaeda comes from Saudi Arabia. Bin Laden comes from Saudi Arabia. Man, that, that area is about to blow up. Man. It is too. Ooh, oh, it's just like a you know, it was, I was reading the news today. They said Saudi Arabia told Iran. They were going to have you beaten nukes. Yeah, you? they told the U.S. because they hear it now. They told the U.S. that uh, we're going to match Iran in nuclear yeah. power mm. capabilities. And the United States is going to back Saudi Arabia. <laughs> right. They, they can't the, do shit about it. Because the Saudis, they're Sunnis. Uh -huh. And the Iranians and the are Shiites. Yeah, yeah. And that's like the lesser. Than, mm -hmm. Iran is actually the lesser of the two evils. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's crazy. Because yeah. Iran really ain't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Saudi Arabia, that's where all the fucking the terrorists come from Saudi Arabia, not Iran. Now, Iran actually looks like a beautiful country. It does, I, don't it? Yeah, I like it. They got parts of Iran that allow people, outsiders to come in, and they live, they live in, in, in Iran in democracy. Yeah, so that's just ancient, man. Yeah, yeah. All them ancient structures and yeah. sites and shit. Syria, yeah. Because, you know, we used to live over there. Israel got scattered over there in Persia. Yeah. Just oh, like yeah. in the book of uh, the book of Esther, tell you about that. Yeah, about yeah. how Jake was living in Persia. Mm -hmm. That temple, you see that temple? Uh, Damn, too. ISIS is threatening yep. to destroy in Syria. That's shit we yeah, built. Yeah, they destroying you all that, that ancient shit. Yep, that stuff we built. Yep. I wish they they said they were gonna destroy the pyramids. <laughs> if they don't, we want to. You remember that video I made when we blew the pyramids up? Did you see that? When they blew up? No, no. You didn't see it? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, no, I edited a video. Right, right, that had right. the pyramids blow up. Damn. The reason it was about that. Well, it's a video we made about Polite, and we said we hope the <laughs> goddamn Muslim blow that shit up. I ain't been hearing nothing about his ass lately. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he flipped the script, man. Is, you gotta watch that video when he shot up his mic. He's, he's a he bugged out, man. Like he's like somebody supposed to get all offended or something. Cause he shot up the mic. <laughs> I bet, I, bet, I bet he won't shoot up the Koran. Yeah, right, right. It's always the Bible. Everybody they was joking, too. They was like, after he shot up, it's like, now it's the Holy Bible. Showing the holes uh, in it and shit like that, man. Hey, man, that's your book you learn from the, to learn your salvation. If you do with it what you want to do with it, fool. How could you read these words and get mad at these words? Right, right. You have these fucking retarded. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me get some of them words. And those motherfuckers actually, uh, I, I heard him quote some goddamn scripture to, to so-called back up their Egyptology. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, they always try to use, they'll try to use, uh, I think, Isaiah 28. I'll get it. Like, they some fucking big time ass hit for Chris. Like, how are you using scripture to back up your Egyptology right, right. shit? They'll try to say, where the Bible come? I was arguing with the Egyptologists all week. He kept saying, well, who wrote that Bible? I was like, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Uh, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. Uh, I mean, come on, man. This ain't rocket science. Oh, God, you know. And then he was like, well, the, the Bible's Egyptian. And all that shit came from Egypt. I was like, okay, show me the part in the Bible where it said to build giant dicks, uh, obelisks. Show me the part in the Bible that said to worship a cat and the ape is blue. Show me the part in the Bible where Osiris got chopped up into a bunch of pieces. Right. Or it showed me in the Bible where... Where's Anubis in? Yeah, where's Anubis? <laughs> where's Isis at? Yeah, that shit ain't nowhere similar whatsoever. <laughs> There's not even a goddamn name similar to those. Not even close. Don't try to say, well, Psalms Your nephew tried to sneak by you. <laughs> Don't try to say Psalms 104 comes from Egypt. But that, but that, that, uh, the Bible predates that. Hell yeah, it does. Try to get some. Everybody's family is in dark. They in complete darkness, man. I gave it to you true to years ago. There ain't no need to keep going. I ain't Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know. He's hey. He's, he's All this spoiled. about me is high and by. You yeah, know, yeah. High, you know? He's super spoiled. Mm -hmm. He just came from motherfucking Mexico. Wow. Yeah, he went down to Mexico. What are you talking about? His, uh, his nephew. Cause I was at the job. I was like, damn, I ain't see camera in a minute. He's like, yeah, you went to uh, motherfucking Mexico. Oh, he still works there? Yeah, he, uh, I think he got fired, but they hired his ass back. <laughs> oh, he worked with you? Yeah, yeah, he worked out too many in the truck. Oh, okay. His ass ain't come back oh. when he went to uh, Mexico. I got a scripture to get I'm gonna show you the scripture that Egyptologists always use. Shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I like when they be thick as fuck with these both ladies. Oh yeah, yeah. Pitch and toe, pitch and toe. Okay, here's, a, here's that scripture that Egyptologists always use. Every time, because y'all don't know nothing, y'all always, y'all all reading off the, uh, they only, because they always, they're all parrots, you know what I mean? They only repeat what they teacher taught them. Or okay. some, you know what I'm saying? Exactly what they do. And this is the only scripture they ever bring out in the Bible. This is Isaiah 19 and 25. Whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people, and Assyria, the work of my hands, and Israel, mine inheritance. They were like, See? See? <laughs> yeah. It said, Egypt, my people. Yeah, but hold up, they didn't listen clear enough. It says, Egypt, my people. Assyria to work of my hands and Israel mine inheritance. So every person on the planet Earth is the Lord's people. He created everybody, did he not? Then he had, was not the Assyrians created by the work of the Lord's hands. Out of Adam come we all. So we was all yeah. Out of Adam come we all, but he was specific. But who is the Lord's inheritance? Israel. It didn't say Egypt was his inheritance. It says. Egypt, my people, Assyria, the work of my hands, and Israel, mine inheritance. <laughs> Read, motherfuckers. That goes, that, that goes uh, with the pot, the clay, and the potter. Yeah. Uh, the potter and the clay. Oh, let me get that. I like this. Yeah, because we, we inherit everything. That's like when your father dies and he writes a will. And he got, you know, the two sons he can't stand, but he got his favorite son. Right. And right. he give his favorite son everything. He gonna give him a charge of the, uh, say a king died and he had uh, three sons and he wanted them, one of them to become the king next. That's us. Okay, we gonna inherit the kingdom, not Ham, not uh, not Japheth. Okay, the the Egyptians ain't gonna inherit shit. Israel is gonna inherit the earth. Ecclesiastes 33 and 13. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion us at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liking him best. Good is set against evil and life against death. 
So it's the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the ungodly. Yep. Like it's like we the Jordans, other nations are like uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. feelers. No, they're not even feelers. They some sprints. <laughs> <laughs> they, what's uh, what's some, some knockoff George? They the hoops. <laughs> yeah. some hoops. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Them ham mites are a pair of hoops. <laughs> some L.A. gear. Oh, so, yeah, they, no, yeah, the L.A. gear. Esau is a like goddamn penny loafers. Uh, no, he ain't. He a pair of flip flops. <laughs> yeah, he a goddamn flip flops. <laughs> Ham pair, this is dirty ass socks. <laughs> Who's that? Ham. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some this, rock, this is a pair of socks. Dirty, dirty ass holy socks. socks. <laughs> oh, go ahead, bring it down. Deuteronomy, we can't read loud, it's all loud out here. Deuteronomy 20, 20, uh, 32 and 8. For the most high divided to the nations their inheritance. Oh, there, there go that word inheritance. There go that word inheritance. There's that word inheritance. All right, listen to this. We're going to find about the inheritance. Read that. When he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Right, you can read that. Yeah, right. Keep going. For Yahweh's portion is his people. So Yahweh's portion is his people. Keep going. Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. Jacob, that is Israel, is the lot of the Lord's inheritance. Just like I, it says the same thing as Isaiah 19. It says we we going to inherit uh, the kingdom. And take it. Take it by force. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my favorite. That's, gonna make it, that's what's going to make it so fun. Yep. It's best better than take. somebody just giving you something. I mean, it, 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 it ain't nah. going to be with 8Ks and AR-15. Hell no. And then we ain't talking that. That carnal shit. We on some whole nother level shit. We on some celestial powers type shit. Some superpower shit. You know what I'm saying? How did how did how did uh, the the Israelites escape ancient Egypt? They ain't doing by themselves. Yeah, right. The, the, the only way we gonna escape this shit, you got to have divine intervention. Well, he lynch even said that shit. We so far down the goddamn line. Woo. They got motherfucking robots <laughs> that will just hunt you down and kill you. That's right, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn yeah. robots. Yeah. They're yeah. already talking about having a robot police force. Mm -hmm. It's like we on some Terminator shit. They already shit. got it. It's just, yeah. it's just, it's and just once they program that it. shit, the target something, they ain't, ain't going to stop. They got them little and they got them big. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then... Yes, and that yeah, so I can't wait, man. Oh man. And the mental slavery though. Ooh. The mental slavery is so intense. You see oh, how yeah. brainwashed these people are? It's so intense. If you had to have a fighting army, you need a lot of people. There ain't nobody gonna fight with you, man. There's some there's some weapons that they might not even use because everybody's so brainwashed. They'll probably just volunteer and wait in line and do some dumb shit. Well, you know, oh, uh the Russians said they got that uh what do they call that? The zombie guns? They they oh, yeah. Putin even said out Putin's own mouth. Hey, they got a riot control, control gun, it. the zombie gun. They yeah, said the order. And you fries your the, brain. Uh, the uh, the zombie gas they was experimenting with Damn. that kept uh, kept these prisoners up. You can look that shit up. Making called awesome. Russian gas experiment. It kept dead people alive. It kept them off. Of, they were trying it. Uh, the sleep thing. You seen it? How they kept, uh, they try to come up with something to keep people awake. Here they comes Snap, crack on pop. There, oh, yeah, yeah. Out yeah. there on the battlefield and shit so they don't sleep. And they done tapped into something they wasn't supposed to tap into because mm -hmm. these motherfuckers start, what happened was they got them demons on them. They start ripping out their flesh Man. and shit, eating their nasty, eating yeah, their yeah. fingers and oh, shit. shit. And when they brought them up out of it, when they brought a couple of them up out of mm -hmm. it, they wanted to go back in. Yeah, they, they, yeah. You know? Yeah. Wow. They can't cope with this no more after going into that whatever yep. whatever realm they whatever, were in. Yeah. You know? I heard somebody like, uh, turn back on the gas, turn back yep, on the gas. Yep, yep. And the one scientist dude knew that they tapped into something that was fucking far out because he asked the motherfucker, like, who are you? Like, what, who right, are you? Right, right, and the right. demon uh, pretty much said, like, have you forgotten so easy? I, I am you. You know what I'm saying? Talking to that Edomite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, that's a bad documentary. Too. That's crazy. That's, that's, a bad -ass that's funny you said, because I heard somebody said that they, uh, the U.S. military did something like that. They gave him some special drug. He said he was a super so, uh, special forces soldier uh -huh. for the CIA, and they gave him some kind of drug or something. 
It just made it so he never slept. Yeah, he said he yeah. didn't sleep for like uh, 10, 20 years or something. Mm. What well, was that movie? Time. It was like that. They gave the, uh, it was like a comic book movie or something. Oh, there was, oh, no, that's, well, the Jason Bourne movies was kind of like that. They no, got the it, super serum. They had the witchcraft writings all over the walls. At the oh, that's uh, Max Payne. Yeah, Max Payne. Oh, Max yeah, Payne. Max Payne. Yep, yep. That drug that had them see his demons and yeah, shit. Had, uh, your Mark Max, Wahlberg was yeah, in it. That's a good movie. I got checked out of Valkyrie. It was called uh, they had that Valkyrie or some shit. The drug was called Valkyrie. I can't remember. I just remember they had that uh, upside down peace symbol all through the movie, mm -hmm. which represents that, that was it, the demon of war? Yeah, they say that either way is still the same fucking yeah. symbol. symbol. They say if you war. flip it upside down, it means war. Right. Still the same fucking shit. You drop a port, it's gonna be a port no matter how they look. Right, exactly. Yep. <laughs> That's true. It is on tails. See, none of the bitches you gotta worry about for yeah. real. I don't want no bitch all you know, high maintenance hoe. They is they extremely wicked to the fifth power. I like I like my women plain. Yeah, plain. You know what I'm saying? I'm into you know flashy and shit. Yeah, that's like, that's proud. That's what I guess that uh that's the Isaiah three with they with they tinkling and they yeah. Crimson and, and yeah, uh, all the crimson and wimples. All that shit. All that shit in vain. Proverbs 31 and 30. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. Beauty, yeah, beauty is vain. God, the, the Lord made a uh, good looking woman. She's beautiful already. She don't need all that extra shit. Right, right. You, exactly. you was good the way you came. Okay, the Lord already made your ass beautiful. If you was gonna use some perfumes or something, the Lord created oils for you. Right, right, oils. And they using all this, all, all these toxic chemicals on themselves. Putting all, putting uh, uh, they wake up in the morning and they put all that powder. They sleep with it on. Yeah. yeah. All that powder they put on their face. They fuck up their skin. Yeah, man. They, they, they had that shit on their shit too, fucking long for years and years. They start getting that raccoon look. <laughs> yeah, the raccoon. <laughs> when the raccoon, even yeah. when the makeup is yeah. off, they don't need that. They man. got a permanent dark circle around the eyes yeah. now and shit yeah. for having that shit on their face. Girl, for years. I don't, I don't, even want, I don't even want to see my girl with no makeup. I, you don't even need it. Exactly. Never. You don't. You don't need that. I don't need it. You don't. She sure. misses on. That's why I'm saying. She's not going out somewhere to eat. Or she won't get pretty for you. Girls like to dress up. You know, you know right, right. right. But at home, man, I don't need all that. How wicked yeah, them bitches is. is. So she already got a cute body, man. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my baby. Oh, you, you ain't being a hoe. Yeah, we good. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why you know these bitches is wicked as fuck. But according to the scripture, like, bitch, you only got one man to satisfy. Yeah. So, you don't need all that shit. But they don't need it. Yeah, because they dress up to go to work. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, they want to work. They want to look good to everybody else. Dress to impress. Yeah. yeah, that dress to impress is some bullshit. Because that's everybody uh, judges you by your appearance in this country. Like to go get a job or anywhere you go, uh, get a loan, get a job, to do anything, <coughs> you're always going to be based upon your outward appearance. I got a scripture for that too. Is that James? Yep. You on top of coming in that interview looking like a transvestite. <laughs> Oh, you, <laughs> if you go up in there with a transvestite, uh, big ass earlobe earrings, what's them? Ham eye earrings? Them ham eye earrings, the African earrings. You got tattoos all up and down your neck and on your arm. Fingernails painted black. You got the job. Fuck entry level, you're gonna be up a little bit. Yeah, let me get this up. This is James 2 and 2. For if there come unto your, to your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vow remnant, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Yeah, so that's how they do it in this country. Like I said, you got to dress to impress. If you don't dress 
If you don't wear the nicest clothes, you won't even get a job. Well, how am I supposed to get a nice clothes if I don't have a job? <laughs> work it out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Work it work out. It out. <laughs> Let's fucking set it. And what, my definition of not the definition of nice clothes is relative. You know what I'm saying? Maybe my idea of something nice ain't the same as yours. Maybe, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you ain't gonna catch me ever wearing no suit, no goddamn tie. Oh hell no! They ain't never gonna see me that's, wearing that's that out the window. Now never. that I now know where the tie is, <laughs> the fuck out there. <laughs> that, that's, that's a slavery suit. Oh snap! Yeah. That, that just that oh, that just symbolizes you being in the bondage. You know what I'm saying? With, with a rope and a goddamn, that's an upside down office. That's like some free, Freemason shit. You know what I'm saying? When they put the rope around your neck. Yeah, yeah. That's something you could do. And then the tie is, is literally an upside down office. Yeah, it looks you know like a mean? dick. Yeah. It's an obelisk. Upside down and shit. And you it's could, a fucking dick. Because you can really take a tie and choke the shit out of somebody. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah kill them. Yeah. Fucking He's like, come here, motherfucker. Yeah. Who wants to wear some shit like that? They, they didn't have that. They're like in movies and shit. Like some you can do that with anything, really. Uh, them, you could choke him with anything, really. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah. with a tie. Definitely with a tie. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's walking. He's walking hard, too. Get him hard, too. Like, get him like, <laughs> <walking hard. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was walking hard, wasn't he? He said he had a star, David. He <laughs> feel He was walking real hard, wasn't he? Hey, that's that Sephardic Jew. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's that same dude. He just looked different because he's. They got his. Uh, I'm saying it. He got his muscles out so right. far. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, crazy. Look at this fucking crazy. They got all that money and can't buy no better clothes to put on the neck, man. They thought that man, he was looking cool. Right, right, right. He's trying to do Jake. Right, Jake. Trying to do the white beater. He did it all wrong. He did it all wrong. He had his shit tucked in the... Yeah, you know... Yeah, I've never seen nobody tuck in the white beater now. Woo! It's tank top. It's a funny world we live in. Yeah, no flavor at all. Looks uh, like Mazzaro, man. No. This yeah. ass is backwards or some shit. This cape is crooked. Uh, uh, oh, he's all Mazzaro. But you know, the Mazzaro, the Superman from Mazzaro world, <laughs> he's all fucked. He's retarded. He looks like a, like a Frankenstein Superman. He's retarded. He can not Superman's ass, too. Yeah. But Superman's a big faggot, though. I, I don't like Superman. Superman. It's a horrible character. I hate Superman. Here it is, he got all this power. And he gonna go work for the goddamn government. The same people, he gonna go work for the slave masters. Yeah, so, right. That's the biggest Uncle Tom of all time, is Superman. Well, him and Hancock going neck to neck. Yeah. Hancock yeah, got exactly. locked in jail. Hancock what? Like, just ignore it, just ignore it. Ignore it. Come Jesus. over and that's find out. That'll, that'll break her heart if you ignore it. Come over here and find out. You, uh, ride, you can catch another one. It's the real bus right here. It's the Zion train. Reading the Bible. Huh? You can say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> you said Bible, not religion. No. <laughs> Why do people always get the Bible over here? They've been programmed, man. Yeah, they've been programmed to think that. Religion is a dirty word to us. Yeah, re religion, religion is bullshit. A, yeah. We ain't teaching no bullshit. Teach what truth. are we talking about transgender? <laughs> tra Everybody catches that word. Transgender. Nah, because uh, it's disgusting. Do you think transgenders are disgusting? Why? That's true. Nah, this is true. 
That's because you've been, be you've been, you've been raised on popular this, this culture. Has to be destroyed. Because the popular culture got to be destroyed. Man. Because the everything on TV, the, you've been brainwashed. You've been uh, conditioned by pop culture, by the media, by the music. My friends who struggle and reading about people who themselves, people like you. Like human rappers. Why would they? They they, they should kill themselves. That's well, why. Well, we don't have to accept them. Why do they force everything on us? Why do they got to force it on the society? Listen to me. Do you know they have elementary schools now where they're teaching the children how to masturbate? You think that's cool too? It's cool. It's probably like they, they have gender neutral bathrooms for a child. For a child. The teach that school. Oh, this place is gone, man. This place is gone. They have gender neutral bathrooms at elementary schools now. Is that, is that Maybe they're like, uh, Well, they're doing this. They're doing this here. Oh, yeah. What about all the diseases? You, you know transsexuals have a higher STD rate of any other people. That's why we're talking about And this was back in 2012. You know, that's double. Yeah, but who wants to spread all these diseases? You're not fucking That's hateful, so though. But they're spreading diseases. They raise our insurance got, rates up. You got women out here fucking with these transsexual faggots. That's their deal, don't fuck them. But they're spreading diseases though. They're spreading diseases. But what if I go get with a woman that who is with a homosexual, and then now I got a disease because I, I'm a heterosexual man. Are you allergic to others? Yeah. Yeah, actually. Yeah, we don't wear condoms. That goes to show you that this place is fucked up. We should've got to wear a condom for. Yeah, why you gotta wear a condom? And actually, sometimes don't have a... Yeah, there's a uh, over half the almost half the country got STDs. With all this all this freak shit going on out here. This we live in a freak show. <laughs> a real life freak show. It gets worse and worse every year. Now they got they got gonorrhea so powerful that it's become <laughs> the antibiotics don't even work no more. And it's mutated. It's become a super gonorrhea. You don't wanna get that. You might get with a dude one night. He could be secretly be a homosexual, to find a dude in the ass, and now he's coming to get with you, and now you got some mutated gonorrhea. Mm -hmm. But she don't got no problem with that. No, I do. I'm, gonna, I'm aware of that too. That there's treatment this STDs, but it's always a butt. Why is there always a butt? Can't straddle the fence. Like I'm not. I, 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 I didn't I say. I said cool. there's nothing wrong with transsexuals. You, you don't believe STDs are not bad. So you don't. I mean, STDs are bad. So Shut you don't up, believe don't a woman should be uh, loyal. To a man and a man yeah, should be so loyal to yeah, a woman. Yeah, that's, yeah. So, right, so that's something. But there's other people going around fucking each other. That's the that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. If there was no adultery, if there was no homosexuals, we that's would, there would be no, no diseases. So, actually, homosexuals are a threat to public health and safety. And they're driving up insurance rates. And they little niggas are supposed there's to get together and phone one chick either. Right. And that's popular ones. So they niggas. Five niggas be on one girl. They share. They gonna take a turn. Yeah, and that's popular. Right? That's popular in the hood. Man, yeah, it is. Hey, man. Man, popular. But that's not that song he said. We was just about to read this about that type of behavior. It's on the music. How it causes infections and yeah, diseases. Yeah. And, and like the brother just mentioned, there's strands of chlamydia, strands of gonorrhea that's going oh, yeah. around. And I'm talking about here in Columbus that's going around that can't be cured. Can't cure this. Can't be cured. Why do you think Obama he declared war against these these uh these viruses that's and, that's uh, that's, uh, and, that, that's Obama? Obama? Because he, he declared declare war against because oh, he's wow. a homosexual. Your boy Pastor Manny. Obama's a big faggot. You watch Pastor right? Manny? And he's Pastor constantly, Manny. I mean, you can't have Obama's sex with a man and not no, catch him. No, he hates Obama. You know, there ain't no exceptions or whatever. He said Obama. Once you go into that man or whatever, he give him a little receipt. Hey, look at the infection. Because it's just not natural. Pastor Manny. It's an unnatural thing. Uh, Romans home. Get that Romans one. It's just not natural, man. But since these devils in in control and since they give these uh these people that are homosexual, that are foul, they get privileges. 
so they make it convenient to be a fag or a lesbian. And that they're you know protected class now. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, all right, bro. Yeah, right, preach that word, man. Yep, we that's all. That. And we just ain't out here. Look, this bitch came to work last week. She was like, I'm never having sick sex again. And she was, she was walking around like this all day. She's like, my boyfriend gave me herpes. Oh, she's done. She's done. Oh, they'll tell you. They don't they ain't, they ain't ashamed of herpes now. <laughs> we just laughing at her all common. They ain't ashamed of that no more. Uh, like 80% of women got herpes. But herpes. We was like, you sure it ain't the worst? I don't know if it's that high, but Ooh. it probably is that high. I know, like, really, 80... It's over 80% have their regular herpes. Almost everybody has get cold sores and shit. Yeah, that's it. That's herpes one or some shit. Simplex B. That's it. That's it. That's how it was Simplex. Whatever it is. Same shit. Yeah. All these stupid motherfuckers, man. How the fuck you gonna sit here and say what's wrong with transsexual? What's wrong? What's like? What the fuck is wrong with these people? But that's man. what they probably. They, but they, she had slices all over her wrist where she was trying to commit oh, suicide. Oh yeah, where she tried. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she looked like a goddamn but she's a, too. But really, she's a victim, bro. But really, these people. Like I said, they've been brought up in this shit. Yeah. They've been drilled their whole life. You gotta accept this. They've been conditioned. They've been conditioned and brainwashed. So it was real. I mean, we curse them out. But really, it's not even their fault. It's the, the, the devil that did it to them. But they got some blame, too, though. She's Don't trying to tell us how to live, and she wants to kill herself. Yeah, ain't that sound? These people, they've been conditioned their whole life, especially the new generation. That people are our age. We know most of us should know better. But this generation now, people who are like, what, 18, 20? Because that faggot shit started hardcore about 20 years ago, right? Hardcore. Hard, but now, just think about the... The ones that's just uh, being born now or 10 years ago. They brought up in this shit and they're taught to accept faggots, transsexuals. You got little children getting sex changes before they even a, a teenager. Yeah. They were, one of them was I in the news. I seen that shit. They being constantly conditioned. What? You figured out the name of that song? Program. Like he said, uh, Program. they're taught that it's okay to have sex with as many people as possible and that's cool. It, 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 there's not even no such thing as marriage anymore. The, the current generation of children growing up, marriage is an alien idea to them. You know what I mean? It don't even make no sense. Marriage, husband, wife, what is that? Right. You know what I mean? That's something. That's like something that you talk about back in the ancient world. Yeah, yeah, that's a you thing of the saying? past now. A thing of the past. It's like, uh, what's that one scripture where it's uh, raise a child in the right way? So. We continue to kill never go apart though. That's uh that applies with the left hand side too. Because these goddamn doubles right. done trained right. them up like that and it's hard for them to depart from. That's them. how they get that's why they get your children. That's why they force your children to go to the government ran schools. That's all part of the plan. They gotta get you while you're young. Oh here we go. Uh, okay. uh, it's Baruch. even easier when, they, when dad ain't around. Right. Yeah, at first, that's the first thing. Uh -huh. Get the man out of the house, and then we, we go to the woman, and we're going to brainwash your ch children and rape uh -huh. them in the asshole. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this is uh, Baruch 3 and 21. Nor understood the past thereof, nor laid hold of it. Their children were far off from that way. All these goddamn kids. Hey, is that song got Chris Brown on it, too? Oh, it's called yeah. only. What's it called? Children. Only. Baruch three and twenty one. And that's what's popular, and then that's like popular music. It's called pop. Chris Brown is pop music. Okay. And they push it at uh, twenty. Oh, they they got little there. girls. That's nice. That's nice. They got little girls singing those sexual songs. Little girls uploading videos on YouTube, popping their ass. Mm -hmm. Just watching uh, Nickelodeon or um. Disney Channel yeah. or any of them kid channels. The adult, it's like watching adult channels, man. You know, I don't, you know, I told my children they're not allowed to watch Disney. They think Disney, they're not allowed to watch it. That's just right. They, they know they're Very not allowed. Foul. They're not allowed, not allowed to watch they don't anything. Be got, they don't even got that Disney shit in hidden plain sight no more. No, it's, it's just all open. Ball it used dick. to be subliminal. Yeah, yeah. It's just. Now it's just all, all the way Sodom and Gomorrah with <laughs> yeah. children, children, children dressing provocative. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got little girls wearing the little choker necklaces, titties, and ass yep. showing. Yep. Tight shit too, just like the old Nancy Holmes is wearing. Yep, yeah. all the tight yeah. ass pants. Like same you shit. see what they did to Molly Cyrus? Oh, cool. oh that bitch just tricked the hell out. She's, She's gone. Part of the, uh, 
some Disney she shit. Was, she, was a, she was part of the goddamn uh, Mickey Mouse Club. No, Mickey Mouse Club no, or something like that. No, she wasn't Mickey Mouse. She had her own show. Hannah Montana. Yeah, Hannah Montana. But a lot of them was for the Mickey Mouse Club, like uh, Christina Tim Aguilera. Tim like, uh, yeah, Christina Aguilera. Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Yeah. A lot of them come from Disney. Young. And Disney is Young. owned. Young. Now Disney is owned by the so called Jews. The so called Jews behind that shit, man. Hell yeah. That song you was talking about, Trouble Butter, that's by Lil Wayne and Drake, yep, too. Yeah. And Lil Wayne, he was he came up young, too. See, that's why they even groomed their artists at a young age. Mm -hmm. Like Lil Wayne, he, he came, baby, was raping him. Yeah, be even sitting out of it. Uh, you go on YouTube and type that shit in. He came. Oh, he got raped. In the name like of the, uh, 10 or 11. In the name of that group was the Hot Boys. That's gay as hell. Yeah, head. that's gay as hell. Hot Boys. That's gay Hot as Boys. Hot Boys. Proverbs 29 and 15. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. Woo. Right, a child left to himself bring. Well, actually, that, that mother, that, that's Woo. if he had a right to the mother, too, though. Because these women, they, they shameful as hell. So you got shameful women raising little monsters and little demons. Right. They already come from a bad seed, too. Yep. A wicked ass seed, then they. Wicked ass nigga, bro. And they fucking dealing with the goddamn woman raised by the woman. Mm. So that's that's a double whammy of fucking brain discombobulation. <laughs> <laughs> Deuteronomy 6 and 7. Uh, I'm gonna start it. Actually, I'm gonna start at 6 and And it was funny too, this is how I know. That was like, man, because my uh, children back in Pittsburgh, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I'm truly my seeds. They'll automatically come to me, like they'll seek me out because their moms was on that weird bullshit about me not seeing them, keeping them from me and shit. And my oldest one now, she already like, man, dad also fucked my mom. I'm trying to move to Ohio, like, she don't fuck with her that's mom at all. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was like, if she's really my seed, she'll spiritually, you know, just come back to me, and it's starting to happen. That's how, that's how my son, even though I see my sons all the time, every week. But they stay with their mom while they go to school. But they can't stand her yeah. because they see how she, how she's a pretty much a hoe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they see all that wickedness. Because yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm teaching them the laws and the Bible and all that. Mm -hmm. So they looking at her like she's a hoe. Even though I tell her you got respect for some level. That's still your mom, but hey, some level. 